to tell or to hide hi guys this is abhi mahajan with the beggar team at royal lepage noralta uh, this is the question which i am asked multiple times by sellers that if we know something about the property shall we tell or shall we hide so i will ask uh, this question to mr many our real estate expert uh, what are the legal things we need to disclose if we know something about pro- our property to potential buyers well uh, first of all abhi this is a very critical question a lot of people they're scared that I should I tell this one or should I not tell this one but the real fact is that the contract says if you know anything and everything about the property you need to disclose it so let me explain to you in the contract when you list your property okay every seller has to sign a listing contract in listing contract every realtor ask is say hey mr or mrs seller do you know anything about the property in in few years back or or so you should have a disclosure form you write and disclose everything about the property and you sign it but somehow now lately a lot of sellers they don't want to sign the disclosure form they don't want to get any reliability or any responsibility of that but technically they are responsible to disclose any and everything they know about the property for example if they know any latent defect latent defect mean something is wrong and we are hiding it latent defect let's say you have a foundation crack in a foundation okay and you know that and you you hide and you say oh i'm not going to tell to the buyer now i have a crack in the foundation so my home is not going to sell but if you hide that that is a big problem that's called latent defect you have to disclose so i'm going to give you a few example number 1 in older homes which is built in 1950 or so you needed to have a say hey is there any lead paint down to it because at that time sometimes the paint used to have a lead you need to understand if they know or not that's number 1 number 2 they need to know that if they have any problem like foundation problem or ceiling leaking or windows are leaking or uh, the floor is is squeaking or they have any water issues or they have a plumbing issues or they have a heating issues if they already know and they're purposely hiding them they are putting themselves into a trouble right now you and me we can only tell whatever we get told by the seller i cannot tell any buyers which is not disclosed by the seller is that clear right okay so that's a one power part of it number 2 you already signing on to those ones is there any latent defect no do you know that you're encroaching somebody else's land so think if you're building a fence and you purposely know that 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 you built this fence 2 feet on somebody else's lot and you know that is a problem and you do not tell fine you can you can get it for the short time frame when the contract will be fully finished and then you are going to the lawyer and then they have trouble it's not you and me it's the seller who's selling the property they will be in trouble because they did not disclose it up front if they disclose to the realtor and realtor did not disclose to the buyer then it's a realtor's responsibility to disclose because seller already disclosed that is it making sense yeah yeah and then the third thing is that any development permits so think if you develop a basement or you develop a deck or you develop a, another extra sidewalk by not having any permission and you develop it if think if and you tell me if you develop a basement without any permits what's going to happen at that time or oh, there could be some legal implications okay here we go think if you built a deck and you do not take any permits and and and, and at this point what, what is going to happen same thing the city can tear it down that is correct then secondly it's not going to comply right when it's not going to comply and you could be having in trouble same thing with the basement a lot of i can a lot of people they just develop the basement and they don't tell anybody and then they sell the home then after say okay well i i sell the home but i do not disclose that is unethical plus that is against the law that can come back to you by by at this point so another another thing you need to disclose a lot of people are say hey is there any death in the home A lot of people they believe in it that if you think that there's a debt, I think you should disclose to it. And you do not disclose to those things, and you know anything about it, and then the buyer find out later on, you'll be in big trouble. So, bottom line is that any single thing you built wrong, you know anything is wrong, 
you do not have any permits or you know anything like has a death or anything these are the major consensus you need to disclose anything left after that no i guess you have you have told it really perfect okay, i was not i was actually not even um, expecting so much of information on this well you did a good job money okay <laughs> well hopefully all the viewers who are watching they can get something out of this video our main purpose is to educate all the sellers in a market not to hide not to disclose might for the short time frame you will lose some of those things or you might need to correct something make sure you get those things corrected and sell it properly you don't want it to be in trouble okay so that's my best advice for you hopefully this tip or this video will be valuable for you to your next sales if you have any other questions abby where they can contact you you can call me at 7807080942 or they can email me at abby at manybega.com and abby is all over on social media he's our superhero he can be answered anytime you're gonna dm him you're gonna facetime him anything you want to do he will be a very helpful person and he'll be very resourceful for you to help you out to guide your next move Hopefully this video will be more helpful. Next week, we'll bring you our next hero. By the time, stay tuned, stay blessed. Oh, by the way, before you go, hit the bell button and subscribe because that bell button will take you for our next video. Before we even record it, before you guys are gonna come home, you will have it in your inbox. Hopefully these videos will be more helpful. Stay tuned, your comments and your DMs are very valuable. Thank you so much, stay blessed. See you next week.